Since ancient times, humans have been tracking the moon, observing its changes, and noticing our undeniable connection to the moon. To be sure, the night sky is filled with incredible sights, but the jewel that is the moon is most dear, not just because of its prominence, but also for its impact on our lives. It causes the tides to rise and fall and sometimes lights our way in the dark. While some planets, like Jupiter, have many moons, other planets, like Mercury and Venus, have none. Earth's singular moon has always been an adored companion to the people of Earth. Songs, poems, and myths abound about the moon. Moon watchers from many cultures see images in the moon, and many stories exist. In Hawaii, the dark patches on the moon are thought to be a great banyan tree beneath which lives Hina, goddess of the moon. Her name is derived from the Hawaiian name for moon, Mahina. As Hina's story goes, she fashioned the finest and softest kapa cloth in Hawaii. She made this cloth from tree bark. Because her cloth was so fine, it was in great demand. She worked long, long hours with little rest and eventually grew tired because her sons were unruly and her husband was lazy and none of them ever helped her. One day, Hina decided to leave her sons, husband, and her beloved Hawaii to find a more serene place to live. She traveled up a rainbow into the sky to the sun but found it so hot and inhospitable that she could not live there. The next night, she paddled her canoe to the moon that had set on the edge of the horizon. She stepped onto the moon and was so pleased to see that the moon was dominated by a huge banyan tree the bark of which could be made into kappa. Hina was delighted and decided to make the moon her home. Once, when Hina was up in the banyan tree, she broke off a branch for its bark. It fell to earth, took root, and was the first tree of its kind ever seen in the world. The clear space in the moon is where the branch once was, and beneath the tree in that space is where Hina has her home. On a clear night, when you are outside, look up at the moon and see if you can find the banyan tree and recall the story of Hina and the wonderful cloth she makes.